Dr. Jim Wilson from Edinburgh University. Welcome uh, to you indeed. OK, Thank you. so this is on the Princess Diana side. Yep. Tell us the rest of the story then. Well, I was always fascinated by Princess Diana's ancestry because it went back to a woman called Eliza Keywark. Now, she was uh, supposed to be Armenian, but she lived somewhere near Bombay. And I began to wonder, you know, was she Armenian or was she actually perhaps part Indian? So what we did was to sort of try and trace some of the family tree and find some people who were willing to take genetic tests. And who did you find? Um, well, there were two people, actually. Um, Robin Dewhurst and Sarah Drury, who are third cousins of Diana's mother. And the key thing about them is that they are related in the mother line. So their mother's 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 mother and Diana's mother's 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 mother go back to the same person. And this means that they carry a small piece of DNA called mtDNA, mitochondrial DNA, in common. So we can learn about William's line from these people. All right, and, 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 and you can... It, couldn't they have picked up the Indian element from somewhere else? Well, I, I don't think so, because it's putting together the genetics and, and what we know. When we tested them, they belonged to this lineage called R30B. And we looked at 65,000 people uh, in databases we could access, and only 14 of them had this. It's very, very rare. 13 were in India and one in Nepal. So it seems very strong evidence. When you put it together with the fact that Eliza was living in Surat in Gujarat, uh, you know, in, in around 18, 200 years ago, essentially, I think it makes quite a strong case that she was at least part Indian. And as far as we know, this is the only part of Prince William and Harry's DNA that isn't from within, the, within Europe. Well, I haven't analysed their DNA themselves, but as, as far as we're aware from, from their family tree, we did another quick analysis across the rest of his genome, and we found uh, in our volunteer, Robin, and also in Sarah, and we found they had three little blocks of Indian DNA. They were about half a percent Indian by ancestry. So we would predict that uh, William is a little bit less than that because he's a couple of generations down the line, but he's carrying these small blocks of Indian DNA which he may pass on to his children. And it's actually quite a sad story uh, of, of what happened to uh, this uh, half great, Indian. Great, 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 yeah. It's five times great. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's fascinating because uh, Eliza was the housekeeper to William's ancestor Theodore Forbes, and he was a rather well to do man from a good family in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. And uh, he had two children with, with, with his housekeeper. Um, Kitty was born in 1812 and Alexander in 1814. And the, the kids were sent back to Scotland to be looked after by relatives. Um, I think much to Eliza's despair, because there are letters which have turned up. She was left behind. Yeah, yeah asking Theodore, you know, can she, could she come back and so on. But Kitty went on to become Princess Diana's ancestor. And Alexander was homesick, and he was sent back to India. Yeah. And the plot thickens, I understand, because Diana's brother has named two of his children Eliza and Kitty. <laughs> yes, who would, who would have guessed? As far as we know, William and Harry weren't involved in this research, but the response from Princess Diana's sister has been positive. She's embracing her lineage. Her aunt. It was her aunt, her Princess aunt. Uh, Diana's mother's sister. Yes, she said, um, as far as I'm aware, that she had always been quite excited to have a little bit of Armenian um, but now it's better because she's got a little bit of Indian as well. And we know that the heir to the throne, Prince William, has never been to India. But how do you think this news will be received by the 1.1 billion people that live there in part of the Commonwealth? Well, I, I think they might be quite happy. In the end, it doesn't matter where your DNA comes from, does it? But it, it provides that sort of sense of commonality that we're all related yeah. in the end. And he's got Indian cousins, if this is true. Well, well. well, Alexander hasn't been traced his descendants yet. He worked for the British East India Company and he may well have descendants out there, yes.